Hello, my name is Jessica. Today I'm going to talk to you about purple coneflower, or Echinacea purpurea. As indicated by the specific epithet, purpurea, purple coneflowers have naturally purple flowers. In recent years, however, several new cultivars have emerged that give purple coneflower anything but a purple color. The flowers can now be pink, red, yellow, green, white, peach, bronze, or even bicolor. Purple coneflower resides within the Asteraceae family, or the Aster family. This is best indicated by the star-shaped flower head. Purple coneflowers, being in the Aster family, are susceptible to Aster yellows. Aster yellows is a disease caused by a virus transmitted by bugs. The easiest way to identify this disease is by the greening of the flowers, petals, or leaves. The only way to treat this disease is to dispose of all infected plants. The genus Echinacea means like a hedgehog, indicating the spiky head on the flower. With a height of two to four feet, the flower heads stand solitary with drooping petals. The leaves are alternate and can be ovate or lanceolate. They are also coarsely toothed. One of the main identification features I personally use is the feel of the stems. The stems have a sandpapery, sticky feeling. Purple coneflowers prefer well-drained to dry soil and full sun. Being from Iowa, purple coneflowers are adapted to periodic droughts and are heat resistant. Thank you for watching. All pictures were found on Google and it was filmed at Raymond Gardens. Also, it was narrated by me. Bye.